Sometimes you see a video or an article that just screams out to be read by you. That just happened to me. Stay tuned. Hello again everyone, I'm Eli Zdow with Project Eli where we educate, lead, and we inspire. And I was reading an article that just said, Eli's dad, this puppy's for you. So let's, without further ado, let's get right to it. It's written by a gentleman named Larry Lambert. Big shout out to him. The name of the article, Fashion Rules for Guys with No Taste. Hmm. If you haven't completely given up on your appearance, these things may help. This is the author talking. As I sit here writing this piece, I'm wearing my old Florida guy ensemble. That entails shorts and a pullover shirt. But I believe they go together because when I asked my wife if they went together, she shrugged. That's basically a nonverbal verbal mm, which for me passes for approval. As for footwear, white socks and sketchers are my choice when I go out. While I generally don't dress as well as James Bond, there are some things I can pass on that may prevent you from bringing shame on yourself and your family. Let's get to them. Number one, cover your butt. I can't emphasize this enough. I'm not talking metaphorically. I mean literally cover your butt. This may mean wearing a belt. And for heaven's sakes, if you're bending over outside and you feel the sun warming your butt, do something about it. Number two, who wears short shorts? Hopefully, not you. I would say if you're wearing short shorts, don't let them be loose. But as I think about it, tight short shorts aren't good either. Just don't wear short shorts. Number three, no white socks with suits. You know, when I just, I'm getting off the the article for a second. I remember when I was in the eighth grade, we all, whenever we would see a kid wearing white socks, we'd always go, whiteies, whiteies. Okay, no white socks with suits. I think this would go without saying, but I'm afraid not. I remember a friend of mine who would wear white socks with his suit, his lime green polyester suit. Actually, the white socks weren't his biggest fashion issue. Number four, dress for the occasion. Not everything is about you. Show some respect for the occasion and host in going to a formal event. Showing up like you're from the WWE or Dog the Bounty Hunter may be a form of self-expression, but it's not all about you. Number five. If you don't know what you're doing fashion-wise, play it conservatively. For example, plaids are tricky to work with. Trying to match plaids with anything but solids is difficult. You probably can't pull it off. Number six, it's okay to break the fashion rules on occasion. But it's good to know you're breaking them when you do. Because if you don't, you're in a world of hurt. Number seven, whenever you, whatever you wear, make sure it fits well. If your belt hits you at mid-thigh, something is terribly wrong. That's how some guys delude themselves into thinking that the 32 by 32 pants they're wearing when their waist is actually 40 inches really are the appropriate size. You know, I remember when I first met um, one of my father-in-laws, he used to wear his trousers kind of up here, you know, and, and I would always say to my wife, I'd say, you know, you can scratch his, scratch his nipples and tighten his belt with the same stroke. Not a good thing to have happen, so don't wear the belt too high. Number eight, check your accessories. If you look like you've escaped from a chain gang, you might be over accessorized. Also, unless you're going to a nerd convention, duct tape on your glasses is a fashion faux pas. Number nine, 
pay attention to your shoes. Buying good quality shoes can actually be more cost efficient than cheap shoes. For example, it might be that it would pay to resole good shoes. By resoling, I don't mean stuffing fresh newspapers in them. And number 10, buy underwear for comfort, not to display. In general, people don't want to see your drawers in public. I refer you back to point number one. That's where we say cover your butt. Still, do yourself a favor and buy yourself some good underwear. As you get older, you never know when you'll have a medical emergency and your undies will be seen by strangers. If I'm having chest pains, I don't want my drawers to be a side issue. One crisis at a time. P.S. In a related point, change your drawers often and keep them clean. My mother would be proud. So, you may be wondering what qualifies me, the author, to give fashion advice. Well, I've been married for 46 years and my wife will sometimes let me dress myself. Sometimes she even approves of the ties I select. So there. Okay, great article. Really liked it. Once again, huge shout out to Larry Lambert, Fashion Rules for Guys with No Taste. And always remember, hey, don't ration the passion, fashion the passion. I'm Eli's dad.